All right, boys and girls, we will be creating with dough in art class. This is Miss Curl. And the first thing you'll need is your container of Play-Doh. You might want a tray if you have one. You could use a fork if you have one. We're going to be rolling balls of Play-Doh and snakes of Play-Doh. Hello everyone. So we've been working with dough and I put my dough in a Ziploc container. I don't like to mix the colors up because it usually turns into a very terrible brown color usually. So I'm going to wrap them up tightly. Make sure you ask mom or dad or someone at home to help you with that. You could put it back in your Play-Doh container or your modeling dough container. Just make sure it's tightly shut. Okay, well last time we were together, we learned how to roll a ball. It's also called a sphere. Simple shape. We also learned about breaking off clay or dough and rolling a little snake shape. So we've done snakes and spheres or dough balls. Right now I'd like you to take some of your dough and try and roll a very long snake shape. Let's see. It takes a while and you have to keep pressing and rolling, pressing and rolling, pressing and rolling, pressing and rolling. And I'd like you to try and create, oh boy, a very long snake. Very long. Here we go. Okay. It's pretty long. Looks kind of like a snake. And it's almost like a line, too. I could make a zigzag out of it. Zigzag. It doesn't quite zig and zag. It looks more like a, a wave. I could make a heart out of it. You can play around with yours and create some different little drawings from clay. I could make a circle. Let's see. Try a circle. If I make these into little edges, look at I could make a square. Ooh. If I flattened it down, you see what shapes you can make. A rectangle. It's a little shorter. And of course, last time we were together, we made a triangle. I'm going to take a little of my dough and create a face for it by rolling the dough to a little ball. And we also made a little tree last time. Here's my little triangle with a face. Now, boys and girls, I'd like you to take your little creation of this little snake and let's try to make the letter of your name, your first letter. Now my name is Miss Kroll, so I need to make a K. And I know that I might need all this dough to make a K. So I'm going to break it in half. Maybe your name is Abby and your name starts with A. Or your name is Carlos and your name starts with C. So we're going to try to work on creating your letter of your name. Here we go. I've got the one line for my K and I've got the bottom and I've got the top. K. If I was making an A, I would probably take the line and fold it down and cut this down and make a second part of the A, the line that goes across. B, oh boy, B is like two bouncing lines, so I better connect these and make a curve shape over. Oh boy, this B is going to be so small. Maybe I have to go like that. B. C. 
If you have a C, that's a pretty simple one. So I'd like you to work a while on working on the letter for your name. Z would be fun. You have to have a line going this way. Zig, zag. Oh, it's a little short. I'm going to add a little more dough. You can always break off more pieces of dough. Now, I thought we could make another creation of ourselves out of dough. And I also thought that you could find fun little things around the house, like pennies or buttons. Or maybe right next to you there might be a little button or a couple crayons. Sometimes you have your crayons around, maybe an old eraser. This is just an old cap. I thought I could add it to make my portrait of myself. So what I'd like to do is I think I'm going to start with rolling a ball for a head. After you work on your names, we're going to make ourselves. So here. Oh, here's my head. I flattened a ball. Let's try that again. Roll, roll, roll. And I'm just going to flatten it a little bit. Now, if you don't have anything like buttons or pennies, pennies might make fun eyes. <laughs> you could also roll your dough to make your eyes and your nose. That's cute. And your mouth. Right? Or, if you don't want the pennies, maybe the pennies would make better ears. You could use the dough if you don't have little objects around you. Here's my eyes. Maybe I'll use the button as my nose. Or, I could take the eraser. That might be a fun nose. Now, I could use this old cap for my hat. That might be nice. And I thought the crayons, don't, don't make them all dirty, your crayons, but the crayons might make nice, nice legs. Let's see. I'm going to set two crayons here, and now I need a body. And I'm going to break off another piece. Maybe I'll make my body out of red. Roll, 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 roll. I could roll it into a ball for a body. I could also roll it into a line, into a snake shape to make the body. I'm going to set these odds and ends off to the side. Maybe you're still looking for a couple little odds and ends to use. You don't need many. Maybe a pencil, a crayon, an eraser. Here we go. Maybe I'll make my body like this. Here we go. And I think I could use these crayons as legs. Oh, cute. Oh, here we go. There's my legs. And I think I'll use the dough to make my arms. I'd like to make my arms. I better lay this down and roll. Roll, roll. You're working on yours while I'm working on mine. Ooh, I got a little red stripe in my green dough, and that's okay. You probably only have one color right now. Make sure you don't drop the dough on the floor. You don't want to get it in the carpet or in your clothes or anything. These could be my... This long snake shape could be the ground. It could be ooh, my hair if I made my hair fancy. It could be my legs if I didn't want to use the, the crayons. I think I might use them as my arms. Don't press too hard if you're using more than one type of dough. Here's my little hands. Maybe I'm holding a crayon. Oh, cute. Maybe I'm drawing. I have this little piece of post-it note. Maybe I'll add that. Maybe I'm drawing on the paper. And I'd like to maybe put some buttons on my belly. 
or give myself a little heart inside my body. Maybe I'll just make a couple buttons. You have fun using your hands to model the dough, to create shapes and artwork with your dough. And try and take a picture of it with mom or dad or grandma or grandpa so I can see what you've made. And here I am. Here I am. Here I am creating the legs. Hmm, I might move this. I can move my arms around. Maybe I'm holding my hat. Maybe the hat could be felt like that. <laughs> and I'm going to add legs. The fun thing about working with dough is you can fold the dough and set it down. Here's my legs. They're awfully short. And maybe I'll add some shoes. I don't really, I want longer legs. Here's one. And here, oh, I don't think you can see it all. Here's my other leg. I break off a piece. Don't forget if you have nice long hair, you can add that. Oh, can you hear my cat coughing? Oh, poor little guy. Okay, here I am standing up. Or, I, oh, my hat's coming off. Well, I kind of like that. And I could be sitting down like this. I could change the shape where my arms are. I'd like to add some hair up here. All right, boys and girls. Oh, enjoy yourself. And, oh, here's a little hat. Perfect. Thank you, boys and girls. Have fun. I'm going to make a few more things, and you come up with some of your own ideas. Oh, look at this. Circle, or a ball, and another ball. And another one. Oh, I've got myself a snowman. You could always add little details on your snowman too. I have to roll these little ones with my fingers. Hello. Oh, how about an ice cream cone? Let's try that. <laughs> that looks like a little bug instead of a snowman. Maybe I'll give my little snowman a hat. I want to make a cone, so I'm going to press one side down and make sure one side is bigger than the other. Well, I have to do my nails. <laughs> he looks sad. I want to change that. There you go, Mr. Happy. Now, of course, with dough, you can't see it, but if I lift him up, he can sit up. There you go, little guy. Here's your little arms and your little face. So, just so you can see it, I laid it down. All right, boys and girls. You can come up with all of your own creations, and I'd love to see what you're doing today. Remember, we're modeling dough, and we have to make sure that we put it away when we're finished and make sure it's tightly sealed in your container. Enjoy yourselves, boys and girls. Thank you.